Welcome to evening prayer. I'm going to begin with one of today's readings, the one from Matthew chapter 18 and verses 21 to 35. Peter came and said to Jesus, Lord, if another member of the church sins against me, how often should I forgive? As many as seven times? Jesus said to him, not seven times, but I tell you, 77 times. For this reason, the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his slaves. When he began the reckoning, one who owed him 10,000 talents was brought to him. And as he could not pay, his Lord offered him to be sold together with his wife and children and all his possessions and payment to be made. So the slave fell to his knees before him, saying, have patience with me and I will pay you everything. And out of pity for him, the Lord of that slave relieved, released him and forgave him the debt. But that same slave, as he went out, came upon one of his fellow slaves who owed him a hundred denarii. And seizing him by the throat, he said, pay what you owe. Then his fellow slave fell down and pleaded with him, have patience with me and I will pay you. But he refused. Then he went and threw him into prison until he could pay his debt. When his fellow slaves saw what had happened, they were greatly distressed and they went and reported to their Lord all that had taken place. Then his Lord summoned him and said to him, you wicked slave, I forgave you all that debt because you pleaded with me. Should you not have had mercy on your fellow slave as I had mercy on you? And in anger, his Lord handed him over to be tortured until he would pay his entire debt. So my heavenly father will also do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother or sister from your heart. There are lots of things we can pick up from that passage. But for me, just reading it again, it's about the question of Peter to Jesus. How many times must I forgive? And Jesus' answer multiplies the number of times. I wonder whether that's not simply a marker for the number of times that Peter has to forgive. But simply a marker to say, just keep doing it until it's no longer an issue. I remember reading once about two missionaries that struggled to get along together. And one found it hard to forgive the other, not for anything major, but for some of the differences that they found that they were having that caused the difficulties until she started praying every day for that person and asking for God's forgiveness for her own attitude. And in lots of ways over the months, their relationship changed not necessarily because the other person had changed, but because the approach of the one who was praying for her own attitudes to be changed had indeed seen that prayer answered. She'd been forgiven many, many times by God and in receiving that forgiveness had learned how to forgive the person that she was struggling with. So much so that many years later, they actually became quite close friends. Forgiveness isn't easy. And it doesn't say that we forget what happens. But just as we ask within the Lord's Prayer on a regular basis for our sins to be forgiven, then like Peter, we must keep forgiving until it doesn't affect anymore until not just that we don't remember anymore, but whatever the issue is, is gone. So let's pray. Lord, you take us on one side, whisper in our ear and listen 
to what it's like for us. We come to you thanking you for your forgiveness and your renewal. And we come to you in trust that you will enable us to do the same for others. That you will enable us to keep forgiving, to keep loving, and therefore showing something of you to others. So as we pray this evening, we bring our concerns before you. We pray for the people that we hold dear, for our families and friends. And as we thank you for them, we lift you also those that perhaps we struggle with. And ask that we may notice you standing between us and enabling us to share deeply with one another. We pray for those who are ill and for whom we hold concern. And as faces and names come to mind, we know that we don't need to list them all because you hear the quiet pleas of our hearts. And so we ask according to their need, your blessing of healing and wholeness, your blessing of peace and strength, your blessing of shelter. We continue to remember Charlotte Osborne and, and the family on the loss of Leo. We thank you for him for the way he has enriched our discipleship, for his friendship, his love and his witness. And we pray that Charlotte and the family would simply know you holding them in the palm of your hand. Be with them in the coming days. Be with them in each moment, reassuring. We pray for one another as we gather. And whilst that might not be face to face, we know that you know each one of us inside out. You know our needs. And so we place one another before God. Lord, grant us your wisdom, your grace, your renewal, your hope, your love. So as we ponder again on those Words from Matthew, let's share together in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and lead us not into temptation. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So just pause and have a listen. Go peaceful in gentleness through the violence of these days Give freely your tenderness In all your ways 
Through darkness in troubled times Let holiness be your aim Seek wisdom, let faithfulness burn like a flame God speed you, God lead you And keep you wrapped around his heart May you be known by love Be righteous, speak truthfully In a world of greed and lies Show kindness, see everyone through heaven's eyes. God hold you and fold you and keep you wrapped around his heart. May you speed you, God lead you, and keep you wrapped around his heart. May you be known by love. May you So may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with kindness and give you peace, now and always. Amen.